Cisco instructor Andrea here and I wanted to continue our discussion about route summarization and or route aggregation as it's also sometimes called. Today I want to look at the IPv6 version. It's exactly the same. Um, sometimes people get a little bit confused because we're dealing with more bits because if you remember IPv6 is made up of 128 bits instead of your standard 32. So we're still just looking at the bits with route summarization. We need to find the part of the network address that everything shares in common. So again, let's just go ahead and take a look at these addresses. Um, the 2001, bad cafe, 0100, 0200, 0300, 0400. So right here, if you remember from our original conversation, what we want to do is we want to see what this address has in common, what they share. So we can see here that they share the 2001, so we know that will be part of our address. We can see they share the bad, that's going to be part of the network summary address. They share the cafe, that's going to be part of the network address. Also now here in this fourth hextet, we see a change. Right here is the same. The zeros are all in common. But what we're looking at is this second nibble area. This is where there's a difference in the second nibble. In order to determine what they have in common, the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and break that into binary. So let's carry down what we know to be true. We know that 2001 is going to be part of the summary network address. We know that bad is going to be part of the summary address. We know that cafe will be part of the summary address. And we know that the zero will be. So now we just have to figure out the rest. I draw my line right here, right? I'm going to draw my line. Oh, we don't draw the line yet actually because we still need to figure out what is going to be in common. So let's do this one, zero, 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 one. Then I'm going to do two. Now I'm going to do three. And now I'm going to do four. Now I look to see what's in common and where the difference stops. So I draw my line right here, right? Because here is where I start seeing where I'm no longer having a similarity. I no longer have bits in common. Everything past this line, it doesn't really matter because they're part of the hosts. And I'm trying to figure out the summary network address. What's in common is the zero. So this value right here is going to be a zero, 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 colon, 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 colon. So now what do I have for my prefix length? Let's revisit. We know that this is 16 bits, 32 bits, 48 bits. This zero is 52 bits. Then I broke this all down into the, I broke the nibble down into its four bits. So if this is 52, this is the 53rd position. Right here is the 53rd position. So I have a slash 53. Again, you have to break that into binary to determine. So here's my summary route for these four addresses. Let's do another one. So now we're going to be looking at this. We've got a little bit of a variation. We're still seeing a change in the fourth hextet. My first hextet stays the same. The second hextet is saying the same. The third is the same. But look, I have a change here in the fourth. And what nibble boundary is demonstrating the change? Where do we see the change happening? A is the same. B is the same. So right here is where there's a difference. So this is where I need to do this in binary to determine where my summary bits are in common. 
right? So we might want to revisit what the hexadecimal values are. Let's take a look right here, because now we've moved into the letters. So we know that A is 10 in binary. So how do I do a 10 in binary? I do 1, 0, 1, 0. This one is A, B, C. So the C is a 12, 1, 1, 0, 0. A D, that's the number 13. So I've got to do a 13. And then E, that's the number 14. What does it look like in binary? Again, now I need to look at these binary values, determine what is in common, draw a line where the similarity and the commonness stops. So I'm going to draw my line right here. That means everything over is part of my summary network address. Let's take a look. I know that my 2001 stays the same. I know that my bad stays the same. My cafe stays the same. A stays the same. B stays the same. So now I'm just looking here at this nibble. And what is this value? If I clear all of the host bits to zero, because I don't really care about anything over here because these are the host bits and I'm just trying to figure out the network portion. So if I clear these all to zero, what value do I have? I have a value of eight. So right here, this is gonna become an eight. Okay, I don't care about anything else, so that becomes a zero, colon, 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 colon. Now, what will my prefix length be? Let's again take a look here. 16, 32 bits, 48 bits. This is 52 bits, because remember, each nibble is four bits, so this is 52 and 56. Now I need to come look at my breakdown, and right there I see 57. This is the 57th bit of 128 ad 128 bit address. So my new prefix length is 57. Again, notice how, just like with an IPv4, it's always going to be less than what I started with. The summary will always be less than what I started with. So we have 2001, bad cafe, AB80, colon, colon, 57. That's it. However, I'm going to do one more to see whether or not the shortcut will work with this. If you remember with IPv4, I taught you a shortcut to just look at the highest and the lowest and compare that as far as the addresses go. So if I have 2001 Bad Cafe ABAD and I have 2001 Bad Cafe ABED, that's my highest and lowest address. So let's just compare those two and see whether or not we come up with the same result because there I would like you to have a way to do summarization a little bit faster. Cafe, we want to compare it to A, B, E, D, colon, colon, 64. Okay, so all I need to do is I need to do this A, B is the same, A, B is the same, so the A is where I have a difference, one, zero, one, zero, I need to compare it to the E, right? Oh, E, one, there we go. Where's my line? My line is right here, right? Okay, so I can see what part of my address will be the network summary address. 2001 is the same, BAD is the same, CAFE is the same, A and B is the same. Now I'm looking at here, this is where the difference is happening in the third nibble. What is my value if I clear all the host bits to zero? My value would be an eight, right? And I clear the rest to zero. I count up 16, 32, 48, 52, 56. This is the 57th bit position. That gives me a prefix length of 57. 
That would be my summary network IPv6 address. So that does it for route summarization and IPv6. Remember, break it down to binary and everything becomes easier.